Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, our dear students. We are glad to see you. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, our dear students. We are glad to see you. Good evening, good evening, good evening to you. Good evening, our dear students. We are glad to see you. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you all today? Hope all the students are fine and enjoying the distance education class today. Do you know which class we are going to, to for today? We are addressing to the students of grade 4. And okay, today we are going to learn some of the part of English in grade 4. Can you guess what we are going to learn today? Just have a glance here. It's our daily routines. I have written here daily routines, the activities that we do daily. That the work we do from the early morning when we wake up from the bed to till late night before we go to sleep. What activities do we do? We just try to deal with today. And in this topic, Today, we will just focus on our reading skills and then speaking. We love speaking and then after writing. Now, children, I want to deliver you all that what activities do we do in this session today under these headings. Firstly, children, we will be going for finding the common activities of all the children right from here. You will be memorizing yours, your friends will be memorizing his or her and I will be memorizing indicating to all of you. So, that we will do in the first phase of our class. Beside that, we will be focusing on the vocabulary exercise, spelling and pronunciation of some of the words which will be related to our today's heading. Then after, we also will try to find out one of our friend's daily activities, name Lakpa. His activities we will try to find out what he does during the whole day and what he doesn't do. That also we will find out and then after in the midst of this session after completing the paragraphs on Lakpa we will also focus on some of the exercises. Children exercises are very important for us to grab the knowledge easily, to summarize the lessons easily and finally to end up our class today we will also go for reviewing our session. All the things we will do. Is it fine to all? Are you ready? Oh yes. So hope all the children are there with their stationary materials, notebooks, books, pen or pencil, erasers or sharpeners. No doubt we all are here. Now children, we will be going for finding the common activities of all of us. So listen it carefully, it may be related to you or somewhere it may be some mismatch. So, firstly let me go to the early morning when you wake up. Generally, in this holidays, we wake up at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock ah, and so on. Far from there, we may not. 
but generally when you have your school days the first and the foremost thing is to wake up from your sleep then after what do we do we will be refreshed when we are taking rest we feel lazy our body is not straight and then after we feel as if again we have to sleep or we want to sleep but children when we wake up we brush our teeth that is the common activities of all the students then after brushing our teeth we also wash our face then we just hurriedly go to our mother our brother sisters also can be sometimes to get milk or tea or simply some kinds of snacks as our breakfast then what do we do after that children ah it's sometimes watching tv sometimes we go for completing our reading work or sometimes we just get the necessary exercises to refresh in our body children after that what do we do almost at 9 or 10 during these days we take meal but when we are in school days what do we do at 8 or 8:30 we just take our meal and we get ready for our school during the day time when we are in school days we learn a lot we greet our teacher we just attend the assembly we just go to the classroom we meet our friends we greet our teachers we learn from the teachers we listen to the teachers and at 4 or at 3:30 we come back to our home getting our lunch and then after if we have some homeworks almost at 4:30 to 5 we complete our homework then what do we do it's sometimes we use mobile sometimes other different electronic gadgets or sometimes we go out for playing with our friends after completing our homework that could go up to 6 or 6:30 generally for most of us then after that what do we do after that we just get the meal from our mother or we call it dinner too and then we try to watch tv in the evening also beside that we also feel sometimes we have to talk with our parents to get the necessary suggestions or sometimes we just go on completing our remaining homeworks or sometimes we also go for watching some more or sometimes at night almost at 9 o'clock we go to bed to sleep because we know children it's early to bed early to rise makes a man healthy wealthy and wise that's the one so these are the most common activities of all the children or all the students sometimes it can be different from each other but most of us do the similar activities so that is what we call routine it's a daily routine daily we will follow the same activities now the children before going for the activities done or routine of our friend lakpa we will be going for some of the words which may come in your paragraph so where you may not feel difficulties to know the meaning so before reading the text we will be going for these words 
Shall we start? Are you ready to write in your notebook? Vocabulary indicates spelling, pronunciation, both and even meaning also. So, children, I will be pronouncing those words at first along with the spelling and then I will provide you the possible and similar meaning too. So, now get ready hurriedly. Ready. Okay, children, the first word you can see from there easily. What's the first word? It's C E L E B R A T E S celebrates. Hope you all are repeating after me. The first word is celebrates. Celebrates means to make fun, to enjoy something or sometimes if we get some kinds of achievement, we try to cheer up for our achievement. That is what we call celebrates. Or if you want to get the new words along with the similar meaning of celebrates, it's rejoices. Did you get? It's rejoices. I'll be showing that words also after sometimes. Now let me move on to the next one. It is, I am here. You're in your school also you may get. Right now you will not get, but later on when you start your regular school, you will get obviously its teacher. Pronounce it easily, teacher. The spelling we have here is T E A C H E R, teacher. Fine children, hope along with speaking you are writing there. Now the next word, before that I want to give you the meaning of teacher, the one who teaches in school or in colleges or in university they are teacher, but the single word if we have to indicate as the similar meaning of teacher it is facilitator or educator or tutor, anything you can say or the next word also if you want to say it's instructor. The next one word is there in the third number, it's A, remember it ok, spelling also counts a lot, A, T, T, E, N, D, yes, attends. Once again you please pronounce the same word along with the spelling, it's attends. Do you want to know the meaning of attends? Do you want? Ok, this attends means to join, to go together. I want to attend the assembly today, it's to join the assembly. Fine? Ok, now the next one is dear children, it's the word itself is very good for every children. This is H O M E W O R K homework. Homework simply means the assignment given by your teacher or it's also called school work. The school has given but you have to complete at home that's called homework. Is it fine children? Very good. Ok, the next word is there, it's A S S E M B L Y Shamli. Please pronounce the words correctly, it's a shamli. Do you know the meaning of a shamli? We just 
tell this word when immediately we go to the school we have to join the assembly assembly is very boring assembly is very interesting we say but what's the meaning of assembly do you want to know it's gathering when lots of people are gathered together to have some discussions to have some informations to go for finding the certain goals it is assembly assembly also can be called meeting get together or gathering now the children the next one is there it's morning the correct pronunciation of this word along with the spelling is m o r n i n g morning did you get it morning means the first phase of our day or the next one also word is identified as the similar meaning of morning it is d a w n dawn got it okay now i want to show you the next one also next word do you want to see okay we'll be going in that next exercise for finding other more words now the children we will be going for finding the next paragraph that is of our friends are you ready who is lakpa what is he going to do or what does he do during the day time as his daily activities that we are going to learn today we already have discussed about the common activities of all the children but now we will try to find out what can be extra in lakpa's routine or lakpa's daily activities fine children okay now let me go through it at first please listen it carefully and you have to speak ready children okay lakpa is 9 years old similar to us he may be reading in grade 4 or grade 5 let me provide you the hints he studies in grade 4 then he was born on the 2nd august in 2008 so he celebrates his birthday on every 2nd august we also may celebrate our birthday in the day when we were born right children okay now the next one is his father's name is karma serpa lakpa is a boy he studies in grade 4 and he was born on 2nd august in 2008 so now children he always celebrates his birthday he always enjoys his birthday he always make fun on that day when he was born that was 2nd august right children now what is his father's name his father's name is karma serpa okay so he is an engineer who is an engineer is lakpa an engineer no his father is an engineer then he works in a government office who works his father works in government office similarly his mother is a teacher here we have his mother is also a teacher then the next paragraph i am going to let's try to find out just the activities are only of lakpa right now so listen it carefully children it's lakpa gets up early in the morning he is not lazy he may be like us we also wakes up early in the morning 
then he gets up at 6 in the morning then he goes for morning walk with his parents very good habit to refresh in our mind to refresh in our body we have to go for walk early in the morning we get fresh air early in the morning we feel refreshed when we go to the morning walk and especially going with the parents makes us feel secure so he also has very good habit to go to morning walk with his parents the next one he comes back at seven he gets fresh he takes his breakfast and after breakfast he studies his books children he also has similar good habits like ours oh okay he studies till nine o'clock he gets ready for school at nine we may be getting ready at 8 30 some of us are getting ready at 9 or if the school is nearby then we may be getting ready at 9 15 or 9 30 because generally the school gets resumed at 10 o'clock in the morning right okay the next one is the year his school boss arrives at 9 15 he reaches school at 9.45. The timing, see, daily activities counts a lot. Okay, he attends the school assembly and he takes part in the school's good morning program. We also have similar habit of like that. So children, now the remaining activities what Lakpa does that also I want to make you sure about it he first his first period starts at 10 15 same like ours but we get at 10 o'clock the next one he has seven periods every day he takes part in each and every activities of the school very good habit of finding the participation in each and every activities to make ourselves energetic, to make ourselves active, and even to make ourselves dedicated towards our work and to update ourselves, we have to get activated in every kinds of activities in work. So Lakpa does there. The next one is there. He gets lunch break at 1.15. He takes his lunch with his friends. Sharing is caring. Children, we also have lots of friends and we must be there with our friends to do the things as well as to share our things. If we have, we can give. If our friends have, they can give to us. But we can share it to each other. The next one, he his school ends at 4. He comes back home at 4.30. Similar children. We also had done in the same way. And we still are doing in the same way. The next one is there. He changes his school dress. Immediately after coming from school. Then he washes his hands, mouth with soap. Okay, he takes his snacks to get the energy to grow. He plays with his friends till 6 o'clock. Then he sits for study. He does his homework. He studies till 8 o'clock. He takes his dinner and watches TV. He brushes his teeth. After dinner, he goes to bed at 9. Brushing our teeth two times a day to make our teeth healthier. To make our teeth strong, rigid. So, we also should have habit of brushing our teeth, taking our time for doing all the things on timely. Remember children, this is all about the activities done by Lakpa. 
Now, children, on the similar basis, we are going to find out some of the exercises from here. So, children, we already have learned these words. We already have found the spelling, we already have found the pronunciation and we already have found the meaning of these words. Now, let me try to give you the meaning once again related to these all the words. Okay, children, now it is your time to guess. I will show you some of the words and from there you need to just guess which word will be similar in meaning with the given words. So, ready? Okay. So, let me give you the first word. It is children. What is it? It is J O I N S joins. So, where can we get it? I already have said you it is a tense. Now, check it from here children. It is a tense. Now, the next one is there. The next word I have done here it is rejoices. Very easy meaning is there. The first word of our vocabulary part it is celebrates. Children, the spelling also you can remember from rejoices, it is celebrate. The next one is the year children, it is all about the next word, it is gathering. Can you guess which is the similar meaning of gathering here? Okay children, this is assembly. Got it? Now, some more words are there. Wow! It is D A W N John. What is it called? It is called morning. Now, the next word is also there I have a, on my hand. It is assignment. The spelling you can read out from there children. It is assignment and what is the similar meaning which goes together with assignment? It is homework. Now, just one is left. Still your teacher is standing in front of you and here also we have teacher left. What is the meaning of teacher? Or here we have the word, it is educator. Fine children. We can write here. Hope to get you staying safe, healthy and happy every time. Thank you so much for today and have a good day.